Welcome ladies and gentlemen, my name is Stonemount64 and today we're talking battle packs. I had a ton of these logging onto the game and I'm going to be doing a full opening of all of the different ones that I started out with. I got a lot from playing the campaign, which is if you're looking for some more packs, you get a ton of silver ones from that as well as completing all of those open cases. I also got the deluxe version of the game, so I got the additional battle packs from that. I'll show you guys what's there as well as gameplay from those. But we have essentially three categories, bronze, silver, gold, and then there's some of the other unique ones that you're going to see me unlock, including the Veterans Battle Pack, which was for playing Battlefield 4, 3, or Bad Company 2. If you played any of those previously, um, and related with your origin, when you go on to Battlefield Hardline, you'll instantly have another Battle Pack waiting for you. And that's one of the other um, gold ones that you'll see that I have. In addition, you see me opening a ton of silver Battle Packs, so the Bronze ones open with two standard items, which are going to be kind of your lower double XP or emblems, things like that. Then it'll also have a chance at a bonus item, which is likely to be an advanced item. A silver battle pack will guaranteed have one advanced item, which is generally higher XP, different uh, emblems, things like that. You'll see, you're seeing kind of what they're like. There's a lot of different ones to kind of go through. Um, and then it also comes with two standard and then a one bonus one, which can be a superior item. It's a chance of that. And then in a gold battle pack, you're going to get two standard items, two advanced items guaranteed. You only get one in silver. And then the fifth item is likely to be, be distinguished. Now, I open about six gold battle packs, and on the very last one, I managed to get a distinguished, that being a paint job for a vehicle. So I get to skip the entire process and just choose a paint job to unlock. You can see that's that very right-hand one there. That is one of the rare ones you have. A, that's the this is the gold ones are the only battle packs you can open with a chance to open the distinguished ones, which are the best. Now you also see me open the E3 grappling hook patch as well as the stun gun patch. That's part of uh, some event or some of the E3 stuff, the community challenges that the community completed. So we get those logging into the game. Uh, in addition, there's a battle pack for playing Battlefield Hardline and being a tester. You get some double XP for that. And on top of that, now I have the Deluxe Battle Pack. So the first one I'm opening is the Precision Battle Pack. This comes with the L85, a 100% boost, and the Circuit Board Camo. And I'll show you guys the, the camos in-game as well as the guns in a few minutes here. Uh, the next one I opened was the Versatility Battle Pack, which comes with the ACWR, 100% bonus camo, and the Zebra Camo, which is just the white camo. And then the last one is the Suppression Battle Pack, which came with the Rattlesnake, the 100%, and the CAR. And I really like the new menu system that they have for this. So you can see there's kind of the overview where you can open the battle packs on the left. There's a really clean way to actually open it now. And then if you go to the battle packs inventory, you can see it all. And then there's another screen separate for boosts, so you can apply boosts to specific specific classes. So if you're playing with engineer, you can have the engineer uh, boost attached to that already. So you can have them diversified up. And then if you have five of them stacked up, you can apply them to all your different classes. So that's a really good format to have. So if you really play the objective as an engineer, you can have the bonus 100% XP for that attached to it here. So here's a bit quick uh, rundown. You can see where the guns are located, the car, ACWR, and L85. Right now, these are only available if you have the Deluxe. So it was an extra $10 to get these three guns in the game, as well as, again, the 100% boost and those extra camos. Uh, a lot of people were kind of upset with this, but, you know, this is something that a lot of games are doing now, even back in Black Ops. If you guys uh, remember that at all, you ever played that, they had even $2 for a ton of different camos that you can unlock. Essentially, that's what you're doing for these three different camos, three different guns for $10 plus the XP boost. Now, the first gun you saw there was the car. Very fast-paced, more uh, SMG-type gun, better at close range. The first shoot shooting that I'm doing here in that last clip as well is no countering for the recoil. Just let the gun shoot. The second one, I was doing countermeasures, moving my mouse down while I was shooting, trying to counter that. And you can kind of see the difference there in terms of the spread um, with these guns. ACWR. One of my favorites from previous games. Love the ACR in general. The iron sights on it, though, are extremely hard to see through, so I'm working towards getting a, a red dot for that or something. I've had a bit of experience playing with these guns. You guys can check out my previous stream. I did a full stream of when the game first came out. Uh, I played a little bit with them at the end. And this last one is the L85. This is actually in the assault rifle category. 
and is definitely more of a heavy duty long range gun but you can see it's got quite a bit of recoil and bullet spread and you'll see it, it's very quickly spreading that recoil out or the uh, the spread of the gun becomes very dramatic even just after a few seconds of shooting one thing i noticed with this as well is when you're shooting with the guns and i noticed it especially with the l85 at a certain point it'll keep going up and then it'll stop and it'll just stay up which I'm not sure if that's been recoil patterns in previous games, but it just kind of keeps going up and then stops. Even while you're still shooting, it doesn't go up any higher. I thought that was pretty interesting, but uh, this is some of the camos. You saw the zebra camo back there. It's just the white one. If you want to get the green or purple zebra camos, both of those are half a million dollars each. The circuit board camo was that previous one, which is my personal favorite. It's like a green and gold. I really like that one. And then the rattlesnake uh, camo was that final one. Now, to my knowledge, the only way to get these three guns and the camos is to buy the deluxe version of the game, which is the $70 version. If you got the $60 one, you can't just pay $10 more to get these guns. It's um, an all or nothing type thing. Now, we also haven't heard anything in terms of if all of this is going to become available to the general public yet or people that didn't pay the extra $10, even like five months from now, we don't know yet. My guess is that they probably will, as they have done in the past. After enough time has passed, they're going to make it available to everybody, but they have to give the people who spent the extra money that bonus at least for a while. And in terms of playing with these, they didn't feel overpowered to me at all. To me, the, the best one was the ACR. I don't know if that's just my personal preference for that style of gameplay or what, but uh, that one definitely felt the best to me. If you guys are interested in picking up premium, though, you will get an additional 12 battle packs from that once per month, plus everything that premium comes with. And if you want a full details on video uh, on that, I did a separate video, which you can check out the recommended video talking about everything new in premium or the previous video with some Battlefield Hardline multiplayer gameplay. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new. Click a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. This is Stonemount64, signing out.